Now for the last of the special triangle segments, the angled bisectors. So we've already been working with angled bisectors before. Now that we're just dealing with an angled bisector of a triangle. It still cuts an angle into two congruent angles. So that hasn't changed. And because they create congruent angles, the way we solve them is we set up an equation where each half of the angle is equal to the other and solve. Now occasionally we might say something's a bisector and we'll give you one of the pieces and then we'll give you the whole. And if that's the situation, you're going to set up an equation where the sum of the two pieces, and remember they're the same, is going to equal the larger angle. So let's take a look what angle bisectors look like. I can actually go ahead and say angle bisector. And if I click on two lines, you can see there's a bisector. Here's another bisector. And finally, the last angle bisector. So where they intersect, I'll go ahead and click on this line and this line. That point right there is where all three angle bisectors intersect. And you can see that it's always inside of the triangle. Even when the triangle is obtuse, um, the, the intersection of the three angle bisectors is in the center. Actually, there's a cool thing to know. If you do a uh, perpendicular line, say perpendicular to this through there, and I take that intersection. Uh, let's see, let me move it so I can move my point. So if I do my perpendicular bisector, there's my perpendicular, and I intersect it with the side, it does make a circle. So this is not something you're really, ah, hold on, circle with a point, circle with center through a point. So I can actually show that you can make a circle that perfectly fits inside with the center where the angle bisectors intersect. So the main reason thing is that the point of intersection is always going to be inside of the triangle. In this example, uh, DC is the angle bisector of ACB. And we know that ACB is 11x and the measure of angle ACD is 5x plus 6. So that would be uh, this angle right here is 5x plus 6. That means that this angle is also 5x plus 6. So I can say these two added together equals the whole that is 11x. So I say 5x plus 6 plus 5x plus 6 equals 11x. I could have said two parentheses 5x plus 6 as well. Combining like terms, I get 10x plus 12 equals 11x. Subtracting 10x from both sides gives me 12 is x. Now I can go ahead and substitute back into angle ACB. And 11 times 12 is 132 degrees. So in this example, I did the sum of the two pieces equals the whole. Many times in these problems, you're going to have uh, two different expressions, and you're going to set them equal to each other. So for further reflection, how can you set up equations for angles created by angle bisectors? One is to remember when you have two congruent pieces, or if you're doing two con the sum of two congruent pieces equals the larger angle.